Thanks for tuning in for another Essential RC flight test and today we are looking at the Freewing A10 Thunderbolt 2. Um, this is a big EDF jet, 1.7 meters wingspan. Not very many other foamy uh, models, let alone EDF jets that are this wingspan. It is pretty big. Comes with, uh, it comes almost ready to fly. Uh, it takes about an hour to put together apparently. Powered by two 18 millimeter EDF uh, fans, each with nine blades. Each of those fans runs off a 6S pack. I'm going to be using a 6S 5000 uh, milliamp hour pack. Apparently you can use bigger packs, it will carry that amount of weight, which isn't a surprise due to its wingspan. Other features, uh, has electric retracts, sprung retracts as well, so we're going to be able to run it off grass without any problem, I hope. Uh, nice uh, decal sets as well, three decal sets uh, we can choose between to apply and this version comes with uh, missiles and ordnance on pylons on the wings so it's really going to look good in the air as well. Okay so let's not hang around, let's take the components out of the box, let's see what we get. So here we go, these are all the components out of the box and I can't even get, there are so many components I can't even get them all in the same shop, there are that many, this is a big model it's going to take a little while to put together. I think maybe a little bit longer than the hour that they uh, they said. But thankfully it comes with a comprehensive user manual that's going to tell me how to put all this together. But a lot of the hard work has been done, I have to say that. All the servos are in place and already hooked up to the control surfaces. Um, I didn't mention the LED light system which it comes with. You've got LEDs on the outside of the model. You've got nice lights on the landing gear on the nose retract there. One really great thing is that this this integrated circuit module as they call it and that reduces the number of channels that you need on your own receiver. There's a number of a huge number you know the number of control surfaces, the landing gear, the lights, the throttle uh, all adds up to a large number of things that have got to be controlled so this reduces the, uh, the number of channels you have to have on your receiver, which is a fantastic thing. So we've got a nice um, pilot in the in the cockpit, showing you the uh, the, the the two fans. That and everything's been done. This is all assembled. So you've got the fans, the rotors already in the in the on the uh, the motors, and the speed controllers hidden away in there as well. And all we've got to do is connect that into the uh, the throttle into the receiver, simple as that. And we've got our two connections for the the plugs for the for the LiPo batteries. So not a lot to do really for the size size of the model, other than screw it together really. And just to point out the nice um, missiles, bombs, and ordnance that are going to go on the rails underneath the wings, it's going to make it look fantastic in the air. So excited about getting this in the air, I'm going to spend a bit of time putting this together next time you see it, it's going to be down the flying field and we'll get this in the air. Okay, so here we go, free wing A10. Um, what can I tell you about how to build it? Uh, not a lot, it takes about 15 to 30 minutes to put together, literally not a lot to do um, because everything is installed, it slots together really easily. What does take the time is putting the decals on there, they're water transfer type, you have to cut them out and then you have to apply them and that can take four to five hours. But you don't have to apply all of them, I didn't apply all of them because that would take far too long. So, ready to go. Um, I have flown this before, I flew it eight times at the weekend, so um, to get the maiden flight out of the way, it flies really, really well, and I'm hoping can demonstrate that now. Thank <laughs> you. 
So there you go, free wing A10. If you can fly it within this small patch, then it's definitely a, an amazing EDF model. Cost quite a bit of money, got it from Motion RC, but well worth the investment. Flies really, really well, even some great aerobatics. So thanks for watching this Essential RC flight test. See you next time.